Yes, people, welcome into Tuna Talks Ball. I hope everybody's doing well on this Wednesday evening. Uh, today, we're going to be speaking a bit about a player that's been on the sidelines, that's been, what's the word? What's the word, man? He's been iced out. <laughs> He's been kicked to the curb. Jaden Sancho. So, there's a report. There's a report out that Jaden Sancho still has dreams and desires to play for Manchester United. However, he does not want to play for Eric Ten Hag. That's crazy, guys. That's absolutely mad. I mean, you can't tell me a player that's been out for what's been like three weeks. It's probably almost a month now. On the sideline. Um, he obviously put out the tweet. Everybody knows about the tweet. Um, and Eric Tenag was like, apologize to me because that's a madness. And it goes on and goes on and goes on. And I think earlier this week, I think either the weekend or earlier this week, Eric Tenag was like, okay, if you don't want to apologize to me, apologize to your teammates. He doesn't want to do that either. What? Guys. No, man. I want this guy gone. I want this guy gone. I actually wanted him gone. As soon as this happened, I wanted him gone. I, I'm still scarred, and I'm sure you guys are still scarred from what happened under Oli Gunnar Solskjaer and what happened under Ranić. This is still the same players. Yes, there's a few adjustments here and there, but this is still the same players that threw both Oli and Ranić under the bus. And you think they're not going to do it to Eric Tenag? I'm sure Ten Hag's a smart man. He, he, he's put steps in place. But this is crazy. This is crazy. So, apparently, most of his grievance comes from the fact that um, Eric Ten Hag is picking Anthony. Um, but you don't have to be a rocket science to realize that Eric Ten Hag's going to pick Anthony. Anthony is his man. Anthony is his guy. He brought him over from Ajax. Anthony's his man. Like, you need to do more. You need to do more. Guys, you know, Sancho has scored 12 goals. 12 goals in 82 games. I mean, he's not painting himself in glory in any way, shape, or form. Because now he's acting like a brat on 300k a week. That's insane, guys. The fact that Juventus and Dortmund is willing to take him back, or the fact that Dortmund is willing to take him back and that um, Juventus is, is in talks with him, is crazy. I wouldn't want this guy in my team, man. I wouldn't want this guy in my team. Obviously, obviously, um, like with Suarez, uh, there was clauses in his contract, you know, to, to make sure that, that things like, like, Suarez was obviously a biter and to make, make sure that he wasn't going to go bite nobody anymore. Obviously, Dortmund or whoever he goes to can put those stuff in his contract. But at Manchester United, it's not there. It's not there. Manchester United should... There is actually... There's a clause in, in the Manchester United contracts. While we know that there's a clause because it's happened in the past. Where if they don't make Champions League... Um, Basically, the, the the pay gets cut for, for, for that season. Um, there should be more of those clauses, man. I am so sick of player power at this club. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it because when Abramovich was at Chelsea, there used to be player power. There used to be player power. However, they were winning. They were winning like the lot, man. They were like on. They were like trying to clock football. Yeah, at United, we win a, a calling cup, winning an FA cup. We, we, we're not doing too much. So, the fact that we're not doing too much and we're having player power, it's, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. And obviously, guys, it comes from the top. It comes from the top. The Glazers. It comes from the Glazers, guys. All the way down. The rot is from the Glazers all the way down. At, at any other club, this isn't... Well, at least they're back in Tenag, but at any other club, you know guaranteed he's sold. You know, at City, he's sold, man. He's sold. And I believe 
Arteta is back enough. I believe that Klopp is back enough to make sure that he's gone. If he acts like this at one of those clubs. But at Manchester United, they are backing him. They are backing him. But we also give out crazy contracts. 300k a week, man. Who else is paying that? Who? Please let me know down in the chat. Who else is paying that? Um, I think PSG. If they want him. I don't think it's worth. I don't think it's worth that, man. If they want him. PSG. They can pay him that. He can go to Saudi. Obviously, I had that opportunity. He didn't want to go. Um, who else is there to pay that money? Liverpool are doing it. <laughs> Liverpool, I think Salah is, is on that money, but Salah is an exceptional player. There's no way. There's no way Sanchez getting a contract like that. Eh? Chelsea's um, way of operating. Chelsea, I mean, okay. I guess Sanchez still young, maybe. Maybe. And I know Chelsea has some mad clues where they, they're only getting players. I think it's like under the age of 23 or something. So Sanchez 23, so maybe he can go to Chelsea. But they seem to be fine. Um, they seem to be fine at the moment. They, they're they getting traction, you know. The, the team is joining. So I don't know, man. He doesn't want to apologize to Eric Tenag. He doesn't want to apologize to the coaching staff. He doesn't want to apologize to his teammates. Who wants a guy like this around? Seriously. It's an absolute disgrace, guys. An absolute disgrace. Yeah, but so the fact that he is trying to outlast Eric Tenag just shows he doesn't care about Manchester United. He does not care about Manchester United. Not one bit. We are in a terrible position. We are in a terrible position. I'm pretty sure you will do it. You will go apologize to help your team. You will go apologize to help your team. But this this dude, he, don't want, he doesn't want to do it. He's like, nah, man. I'm standing my ground. I don't care, actually. I don't care about the club. I don't care about the club. I don't care about the team. He just cares about himself, really. Because if he really done, if he really cared, I mean... His career even, does he, does he even care about his career? Like, his, his career can still pick up. But guys, like, there, there should have been reasons already to apologize just to play football again, man. Just to play ball again. I mean, there was an opportunity for him weeks back. Where he was the only guy on the right-hand side. We brought him Palestri, and obviously we had that opportunity to see him play. But, I mean, Sancho would have... Sancho would have played over Palestri. No doubt. No doubt, man. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below, guys. I want Sancho gone. I want him out. I don't want him out alone. I want him gone. I want him gone. Sold. Even if we take a loss. Um, and in the famous words of Tim the Tat Man, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And let somebody know that you love them. Peace out, man.